Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I am a tarot-based life consultant, and I've got a message today for the water signs. This is for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. If you've been watching these videos, I'm gonna try a little different format this week. I usually just do one spread, but I decided to do a few more cards to give you a bit more context into this spread. Um, I got a message to do that the other day, so let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna actually start with the end. I'm gonna start with the advice. We have the Queen of Pentacles, lovely card, and the Queen of, um, Queen of Water, Queen of Cups, and then that's going into the Nine of Cups. So the reason why I want to start here is because this is a really big, important, enormous energy. These cards all have to do with following your heart and making sure it's your heart that's putting out the calling to what you're wanting to receive. Um, this card is talking about laying the foundation for your heart's desire. This is being in the flow with your heart and in the, in the flow with your soul. So you've got this um, feminine watery energy here, which is great that it comes up for a water sign because this is talking about you. So this is a very creative force that's very intuitive. This is someone or something that follows their soul, follows their heart, and doesn't care about what other people think. She is so in tune with her inner, inner compass that she's just going wherever she needs to go because she's following her heart and soul. And when you do that, you get rewarded with all of these blessings that just come flowing towards you effortlessly. And this card is urging us to lay the foundation for this to happen. So we go actually now to the context, which I know is a little backwards, but this week you may be feeling this kind of energy. This humdrum kind of, oh, I'm just kind of going through the motions of doing my work. This is not a very glamorous card, the Three of Pentacles. It just has to do with getting things done and often has to do with working in a team to get things done. But again, this is not the glamorous or even soul-fulfilling kind of feeling work. So you're stuck in these kind of tasks. And this has you maybe feeling a bit like this, the Two of Swords, just kind of blocked. Like you don't really want to do it. You know you have to do it, but you don't really want to do it. And this card, though it talks about being locked in an impasse, this is a card that really forces us to listen to our heart and follow our intuition. On the outside, it kind of looks like nothing is happening. We're stuck in the same old, same old, same old routine. But on the inside, they're saying, look at your heart. Look at your heart and really understand what your heart is calling for. Because, again, remember where we started, you've got all of these wonderful cards here. All of these wonderful messages saying, okay, it looks like nothing is happening this week. It looks like it's the same, but really we are laying the foundation for your heart and your soul to call forth all these blessings that you've wanted. And understand that even though this work is humdrum this week and the vibe of this week may be a little less fun, I have to say, maybe just a little more routine, you're still laying the foundation for these good things to happen. So this is working for you behind the scenes, even though out in front, it looks like not much is happening. So what does all this mean? This means do not lose sight of your heart this week. Do not lose sight of your true desires and where you know your soul is calling you. You know best where your soul is calling you. Do not lose sight of that even if your environment doesn't seem to be supporting that at the moment. Do not lose sight of your inner compass and your inner guidance because it's all waiting to come flowing straight to you. It just needs a little time. So please let me know what you thought about this um, this five card reading versus the three or four card readings that I usually do. If this was more helpful for you, I'd love to hear because that is the point of doing these videos is that I just want to help people as much as possible. So if you are interested in a private reading, get in touch through my website. I'd love to connect with you. And as always, please comment and subscribe. Your feedback is so important to me. So have a great week, Water Signs.